As a young child, I was just so excited about getting to the beach. Father Steve Gerald, he was born a slave in 1842. After the Civil War, they worked for various families as sharecroppers. He never owned land, but his sons, all of them, every last one of them uh, that lived to be adults, owned land. Tobacco was the cash crop, and uh, we were out there sun up, sundown, working that farm. It was understood that you were not getting through the summer without having gone to the beach a couple of times. Getting to the beach or going anywhere was, you sort of knew the rules. You knew the threats, you know where you could run into those threats. Segregation was in full blast. You traveled with that in mind. You knew along the way that you could run into just a lot of ignorance out of folks who didn't have anything else to do with their day but make life miserable for someone else. And if you were black, you were a prime candidate for that. That's just the way it was. We were just at Atlantic Beach, and that was our world. There was no such thing as exploring beyond Atlantic Beach. You were going to relax, to play in the water, and we liked doodling, we liked just waiting, we liked digging in the sand, we played around with channeling of the water. Growing up as a child, I didn't know what dolphins were. We called them seahorses. That was one of the things that we kids were looking for with those seahorses. So you spent a lot of time waiting to see if anyone spotted any. 